But first tonight, we're learning more about one of the four people killed in a horrific crash. He is one of two teenagers killed in that fiery wreck Tuesday afternoon. WPTV News Channel 5's Joel Lopez spoke to the father of one of those victims. He described a young life that had been full of promise. Joel joins us live with how the young man's being remembered tonight. Joel. We can confirm tonight that one of the victims was 18 year old George Meyer III and tonight we'll hear from his father. I spoke with him on the phone as he shares the story of his son's life. George Meyer II got an urgent call from a coworker. One of my subcontractors called me up and uh, his name is John. And he said to me, uh, George, and I said, yeah, hey, John, what's going on? He says, uh, where's Georgie? His friend saw the crash on Tuesday with a Tesla that looked like the one Meyer's son had. So I started calling Georgie up and, uh, you know, and he's not picking up and I'm calling and I'm calling. And I'm like, on the phone, Georgie, you know, I'm, I'm starting to panic, you know, and I'm texting him, but I didn't know he was already dead. <laughs> he was already dead. The father showed up to the intersection where his fears were confirmed. George, his son, died in the crash. He knows I love him. And that's what I would tell him. I'm, I'm never going to be able to get over this. He was like my best friend. He says the teen had just graduated from Fort Pierce Central High School and attended Indian River State College to become a cardiologist. His father saying he excelled in academics and sports and followed in his footsteps to become a black belt in karate. I remember when, when at the beginning he was very competitive. He wanted to win and, and win and win and win. In reality, what he learned is to have skills that he will use one day in life. The teen trained at the dojo from seven years old to when he was 15. And we saw him as a skinny kid, like he was oh, yeah. 12 years old, wet, 90 pounds. You know, he was yeah. very, very skinny. Then we see him in transformation about five, six years later. A man, a man, pretty much yeah. a man. His sensei says he was like family and held a moment of silence tonight in his honor. I wish that, that split second wouldn't happen. And I wish he could be with us today and continue with his life. I was so proud of him, man. I was always proud of that kid. That kid was that kid was the new and improved George Meyer, you know? Tonight, there is a small vigil in place at the scene where that crash happened. Mr. Meyer tells me that this teen leaves behind his father, his mother, and his younger daughter. And right now, the family is in the works on planning the funeral. Reporting live in Stewart, Honey, back to you. Joel, thank you.